Let's consider the differential equation xy prime plus y equals x squared times y squared. This is in the form of a Bernoulli equation, and we can solve this by um, multiplying uh, both sides by 1 over y squared, or y to the minus 2. So we have x y to the minus 2 y prime plus y to the minus 1 equals x squared. And we want to convert this equation to a linear equation, so we need to change variables. So this is the term here we want to be linear. So we let u equals 1 over y, or y to the minus 1. And then the derivative here, u prime, becomes minus y to the minus 2 times y prime. And we see that we have the y to the minus 2 times y prime here, and the y to the minus 1, which is u here. So substituting in, we have um, x times y to the minus 2 times y prime. So that becomes, there's a missing minus sign. So minus x times u prime plus y to the minus 1, which is u, equals x squared. So that's a linear equation, which we can write in the form u prime minus 1 over x u equal to dividing through by minus x. So that's equal to minus x. OK? Um, so that's a linear equation. So we can solve this equation. Um, uh, you can recognize this as uh, you can have to turn this into a derivative. We, the easiest way is just to go for the integrating factor. So u is equal to the integral of minus of p of x d the integral of p of x dx e to the integral of minus one over x dx. That's that is uh, minus log x or x to the log of x to the minus 1. And then you take the exponential of that, so you get 1 over x. So the integrating factor here is 1 over x. So we should multiply this equation by 1 over x to get the total derivative. And when we do that and integrate, then we should get u equal to 1 over the integrating factor, which is x times a uh, constant plus the integral the uh, to x, right? All of these integrals are 2x of um, mu, 1 over x, times the right-hand side, minus x dx. So that's just our formula for a linear equation. So this is just minus 1. So the integral of minus 1 is minus x. So we get x times uh, c minus x. Okay, So that's our solution for u. And then u is 1 over y. u is 1 over y. So we get y then, as a function of x, is 1 over u. So it's 1 over x times a constant minus x. And that constant here will uh, be used to satisfy whatever the uh, initial conditions are given for y. Here, it won't be at x equals 0, because this is a uh, nonlinear equation that has a singularity at x equals 0. So instead, the solution will be for some uh, will give y at some other value of uh, the initial condition will give y at some other value of x.